advanced brain but why there is no pre instantiation on prototype scope and uh, other than singleton scope spring beans only singleton scope spring beans will be kept in internal cache of ioc container so though pre instantiation happened on those beans since their objects are kept in internal cache of ioc container so the re, there is a possibility of reusing those objects which are created through pre instantiation so whereas other objects will not be kept in uh, internal cache so whatever objects that are created through pre instantiation will be wasted because when need is there other scope objects will be created again and again so the objects created through pre instantiation will be definitely wasted since that there is a possibility of wastage of objects the objects created through pre instantiation will be wasted that's why they have not enabled any pre instantiation on what single uh, what is that other than singleton scope beans guys can we disable come on yes come on guys okay guys can we can we disable can we disable pre instantiation of singleton scope spring beans can we disable pre instantiation on singleton scope spring beans answer yes yes use lazy init is equal to true in the bean tag use lazy init is equal to true in the bean tag yes now listen carefully boss oh we got it to wrong workspace boss not a problem what is our workspace lazy init is equal to true lazy in it means lazy in instantiation and initialization it has to do lazy means when need is there by default yes boss application context dot xml guys application context xml okay now it is basically singleton boss now see i just commented everything 
I am just running the application. Okay, what is created? Object is created. I just created container. No factory dot get bin method is called. Now you observe. Lazy init is equal to. Lazy init is equal to. Lazy init is equal to true. Lazy init is equal to true. Okay, boss. No listen. No messages. No messages. No pre-instantiation is happened. Did you observe that, boss? Are you noticing it, boss? Okay. Did you observe this? Okay. So now, if you if you take the false here, if you take the false here, uh, yes, pre instantiation is taking place. Okay, there is one more value called default. There is a default value is default here. That's a headache. It will fall back to default lazy init that is kept in beans tag. Default lazy init that is kept in what beans tag? Are you understanding my statement, boss? Default lazy init. Suppose I have taken default lazy init true. Suppose I have taken default lazy init true. On all the beans, default lazy init is enabled. On all the beans. Okay. So here default means whatever default lazy init is there that will reflect here. That will reflect here. So here true is there. Okay. Here lazy unit is not kept in a uh, default is what? Default. That means true. Okay. Here lazy unit is kept, but it, what is the value? Default. That means true will reflect. Here also lazy unit is not kept. What is default value? Default. It will fall back to default lazy unit attribute. What is there? True. So indirectly what on all the three bins default lazy unit is enabled since lazy unit is enabled check it out check it out no bean is participating in the pre instantiation no bean is participating in the pre instantiation are you getting my point there guys yes okay so it basically looks like this boss Basically, it looks like this. Default init is equal to default init is equal to. Let me give the value. Default init is equal to true. Okay. The possible values for lazy init are A false, B true, C default. Interesting thing is if no value is given, default value is default. Okay, lazy init is equal to. Lazy unit is equal to true. Enables pre instantiation on singleton scope spring bean. Yes, boss. True, na? Okay. Disables pre instantiation. False. Okay. Default. Fallbacks to. Fallbacks to. Default lazy in it. Lazy in it. Uh, attribute value of. Bean stack 
fallbacks to default lazy init are you listening default lazy init attribute value of beans tag what tag guys default lazy init attribute value of beans tag okay it's something like this default lazy init attribute value of bean stack right boss uh, no listen listen one more question target spring bean scope is single turn single turn and dependent spring bean scope is prototype prototype mm. prototype can you tell me can you tell me whether dependent spring bean participates in can you tell me whether dependent spring bean participates in okay pre instantiation or not pre instantiation participated participates in pre instantiation process or not pre instantiation process or not come on guys answer my question tell me tell me tell me tell me as part of pre instantiation only instantiation happens na it also try to complete injections na it also try to complete injection because the moment instantiation is happened if it is a constructor injection along with instantiation only injection should complete setter injection also immediately takes place once instantiation is done okay target bean scope is what singleton it definitely participate in pre instantiation but dependent scope is what prototype to complete pre instantiation and injection of singleton definitely dependent bean also should participate in pre instantiation or not does it mean dependent bean scope is changed to singleton no does it means dependent bean scope is changed to singleton no it's not like that right it's something like this boss you are having party at home you called your friend are without you my party is incomplete you please come and attend you please come and attend but he said are one of my cousin came from us only to spend time with me i cannot come and attend party ra so then what you will say what is there what is their issue both together come both together come but it does not mean his cousin is your friend right it does not mean his cousin is your friend i hope you are understanding since you want your friend presence in the party you are inviting your cousin are you really interested to invite cousin of your friend to the party no the same story here the same story here i think you are understanding you want practicals a huh? one minute i will take i will take because here dependent is their date class but uh, you know that date class we cannot have a constructor right in date class we cannot have a constructor with sop messages so that's why i will go for i will go for one minute not real time strategy where is the uh, strategy design pattern application is there now boss yes there strategy dp test is there why here target dependent both are programmer choice ones file save as strategy dp with ac strategy dp with ac okay fine let it be now go to this place take this line guys See, application context container creation also very easy, boss. 
in single line story over right strategy okay here is my ctx dot get bin ctx dot get bin ah, tell me guys strategy db test ac now i am commenting all this stuff i am just creating container now check the xmls now check the xmls guys application context dot xml total how many singleton scope bins are there three plus one four are there no only target i will make it as scope is equal to singleton super scope is equal to singleton prototype dependent i made it as what is that scope is equal to prototype yes now listen so now three singletons one prototype is there but that prototype bean is dependent to dependent to singleton one okay now let's see the story now strategy db with the ac was now you observe you will get you will see the object creation for blue dart also <laughs> you will see the object creation for blue dart also flipkart object created fine but blue dart object also created why was though it is having prototype scope blue dart object is created or not these are typical use cases guys come on they'll confuse you like in the interview room see if you ask what are the spring bean scopes you answered well confidently you answered well so if entry your ego is hurted then you will ask this kind of corner cases is are you are answering very well confidently let's make him you don't know something that time we will bring this kind of cases boss oh okay. yeah so that's why don't study only interview questions study complete subject as i said your first question answer is based for second question second question answer is based for third question maybe there will be important topics boss once the topic starts discussion may go anywhere discussion may go anywhere supplementary question can be any angle so that's why don't just depend upon faqs if you study faqs mm if you study faqs you never clear interviews you may survive in the company but you never clear interviews because mm, right mm. prototype scope been scope been also participates in pre instantiation indirectly indirectly to support to support injection process injection process injection process after pre instantiation of in a stanciation of to support pre instantiation process of singleton scope target bin singleton scope target bin so as a sample code let me give this in in means i am not giving complete code kind of thing in application context dot xml so right now we are least bothered we are least bothered about these lines we are just to bother about these lines right scope is equal to prototype scope is equal to singleton are you listening my statement boss come on right okay boss now listen listen don't relax don't relax i have 10 spring bean 
10 spring beans configuration in spring bean configuration file i have 10 spring beans configuration in spring bean configuration file okay i am looking to enable pre instantiation only on four spring beans four spring beans can you tell me can you tell me can you tell me what should i do tell me what should i do no this is logical question boss can you tell me what should i do i'm giving one minute time to answer everyone please use a default option huh? if you use default option what happens <laughs> okay only on four spring beans what should i do yes now listen carefully listen 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 make uh, number one configure four beans four spring beans having singleton scope and other six beans and other six beans having other than singleton scope other than singleton scope that is the number a number b number b uh, don't may don't enable lazy in it okay lazy in it or default lazy in it default lazy in it on four singleton scope spring beans now this is just logical question boss whether you really do or means no it's a just logical question tricky question don't enable lazy in it or what default lazy in it on four singleton scope spring beans next don't make <laughs> don't make uh, don't make other than other than singleton scope beans other than singleton scope spring beans as dependent to to the to the singleton scope target bit don't make other than singleton scope spring beans as dependent to as dependent to the singleton scope target beans to the singleton scope beans that's it singleton scope spring beans i hope you are understanding so if you do this one then we can enable pre instantiation only on four beans boss only on four beans okay guys next okay is pre instantiation is pre instantiation advantage or disadvantage tell me boss is pre instantiation advantage or disadvantage is pre instantiation of singleton scope beans singleton scope beans is advantage or disadvantage 
definitely advantage guys can i explain one small use case i have web based layered application what guys web based layered application everyone listen carefully everyone listen carefully i used bean factory container in web based layered application i used bean factory container first request came then servlet container has to create servlet class object then ioc container is created and the ioc container calls factory dot get bean method in that process data source dao service controller class objects are created then they are used to process the request then they are used to process the request that means first request is participating in instantiation of servlet components spring beans container creation come on guys come on now second request third request came tell me these request directly participates in request processing or not why because already objects are there already servlet class objects are there singleton scope data source dao service controller class objects are there come on guys so that means that means first request is going to take huge amount of time huge amount of time to complete the request processing compared to other than first request or not compared to other than first request or not think 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 boss when if i use bean factory container where pre instantiation of singleton scope is not possible okay what is the solution for this problem the solution for this problem is take application context container take application context container and create that container in the init method of servlet component in the init method of servlet component and enable load on start upon servlet enable load on start upon servlet then what happens when you deploy the web application that time only servlet class object is created init method is executed in that process ioc container is created and all singleton scope beans are pre instantiated and necessary injections are done necessary injections are done data source dao service controller class objects and their injection everything happens during the deployment of the web application now you give first request directly participates in request processing you give second request directly participates in request processing you give third request directly participates in request processing tell me is there any huge amount of time taking consuming for first request guys is there any huge amount of time consuming for the first request boss no even first request also gives uh, even first request also what will not use more memory na okay chandan tell me what is the <coughs> what is the use case where people will not use data source dao service controller object after creating boss without using only uh, they have become main layers of the project huh? come on guys come on <laughs> is there any case service dao controller data source objects are created but they are not used that possibility is there no boss it's impossible right yeah now listen problem with bean factory problem with bean factory bean factory ioc container in web based web based layered application web based layered application web based layered application okay first of all what is the layered application we have html oblique jsp 
servlet component what is that controller okay front controller normal controller class will be there don't confuse yourself i will launch that one later controller here spring bean hmm. service class spring bean service class spring bean see i am not just presenting concept i am trying to link with projects at least you realized why did we learn that mini project dao our our mode of learning is different are you listening everything we are trying to learn it projects prospect to project angle if you put bit extra if you put bit extra efforts your knowledge is totally different from others everyone learns only concept pocs flipkart dtdc student course this kind of examples but we are learning everything with respect to project please that's why that's the reason i have become angry other day i scolded you people like anything when you have not completed assignment because this layered application i am going to take every time to link every concept today also i will check don't worry <laughs> okay sir in real time only application context only will be used in sir for servlet spring is not having any replacement spring is giving ready made servlets ready made servlet but no replacement as a technology wise okay is that clear boss spring is not giving any alternate for servlet jsp and html HTML. Mm. Vishnu Rai, how many time pre-instantiation happens during deployment? One time. Why memory will be wasted? Tell me. Deployment of project happens every day, na? Every minute, ah? Or once in a three years, ah? Once in a year, once in a three years. Are you getting my point, guys? Super. Okay, so let's have a let's concentrate on it. Uh, now listen, problem with Bean Factory IOC container in web-based layered application. First request. Okay, first request. First request. Hmm. Servlet instantiation. bean factory ioc container creation creation spring bean class objects creation and injection okay spring bean class objects creation and injection creation and injection okay boss spring bean class object creations and uh, injections object creations and injections and uh, use them injections uh, and you using all components for request process all component for request processing using all components for request processing request processing and response generation request processing and response generation request processing and response generation yes boss ah now listen other than first request other than first request no servlet instantiation no ioc container 
creation no spring bean class object creation and injections using all components for request processing and response generation using all components for request processing and response generation are you listening my statement guys okay now listen carefully okay generally what we do guys this we take singleton this we take singleton this we take singleton this we take singleton again this also we take singleton are you getting my point there other than using all components for request processing and response generation boss cool super cool uh, now listen uh, since uh, singleton scope bins will be kept in internal cache na singleton scope bins will be kept in internal cache so second request what happened again they will be created or they will be collected from the internal cache come on come on please respond second request will create Please, please be active please respond second request they will be again created and injected or they will be collected from internal cache internal cache and that's why uh, what what is the observation here boss first request is having first request is having uh, more response time compare to compare to other than first request other than first request other than first request uh, to solve this problem problem use the solution use the following solution use the following solution come on rajesh nagar already i discussed why controller service dao data source should be taken as singleton every day cannot be fresh day i said data source is having fixed adbc driver details state is not changing time to time that's why singleton dao contains final variables queries as final variables and context uh, contains what data source injection which is effectively final that's why singleton rajesh nagar this is a old discussion old discussion yesterday also i discussed show some common sense we are not here to discuss same point for 10 times guys did i not talk about this point why we should take controller why we should not take control why we should take controller service dao data sources as singleton guys yesterday also we got that point right please okay boss yes now let's go for solution solution using application context container solution using application context container okay uh, in web based layered application web based layered application web based layered application number 1 number 1 what is what are the things you have to take create application context ioc container create application context ioc container in the init method of in the init method of come on guys 
front controller Sarlet. I think everyone knows in it method executes the moment Sarlet class object is created. Front controller Sarlet by uh, enabling load on startup on it. And you know that load on startup makes Sarlet container to create Sarlet class object during the deployment of the web application. Yes or no? Na? Okay. By enabling load on startup of the servlet. Okay, boss. Now listen carefully. Now deployment of the web application. Deployment of the web application. Or web application. Or during server startup. Deployment of the web application or during server startup. Or during server startup. Uh, now tell me, during deployment of the web application or during server startup, what happens? What happens? Hmm. Front controller servlet pre instantiation. Front controller servlet pre instantiation. In a stanciation, okay, because of load on startup, because of load on startup. Next one, because of load on startup. Next one, init method of init method of front controller servlet. Init method, init method of send, init method of front controller servlet execution, execution and application context, application context. Come on, IOC container, application context, IOC container creation. Is that clear? Okay, I'm talking about if we create front controller servlet on our own. I'm not talking about readily available front controller servlet. If we develop front controller servlet on our own, my dears, please show some common sense. Application context container, IOC container creation. Super boss. Next one. Mm. Pre-instantiation of singleton scope spring beans. Singleton scope spring beans. What there is guys? Controller service DAO data source and and etc. and injections on them and injections on them injections on them okay these things are happening during the deployment of the web application first request came okay guys now first request came was uh, using all the components using all the component because they already created now boss using all the component for request processing and re response generation other than first request other than first request other than first request uh, same thing boss using all the components for request processing and response generation because already they are created already they are instantiated injected during the deployment itself during the server startup itself come on guys i think i think you felt the pro solution is there here though you are not so perfect in servlet are you able to visualize the solution solution here first request here first request see the difference Whatever things are happening in the first request here, they are happening now during the deployment of the web application. It is happening because of two reasons. Number one, 
okay we are enabling load arm startup on servlet number 2 we are taking application context container both are important because both we are doing that's why it is taking place guys 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 i hope you are feeling here the response time of the response time of first request is is decreased and equalized with equalized with other than first request other than first request equalized with other than first request come on my dears i think you thoroughly enjoyed all these points you go and ask any working fellow also you are, you are saying application context support pre-instantiation pre-instantiation tell me where did you get benefit in your project tell me where did you get benefit in your project in what way it is beneficial for you in the project tell me in project prospective he also may not answer if you answer also you'll answer very lately that too when you give hints that too when you give hints so knowing point is important and linking that point to project is another important one i hope you are understanding my point okay vivek sahare when bean factory is there in front controller servlet by enabling load on startup that time only container is created and that time only container is created do you think uh, pre instantiation of singleton scope beans takes place boss <laughs> okay someone asked me here sir i use bean factory but i will use what load on startup on front controller you do it but uh, there also you're getting advantage of load on startup because bean factory does not support pre instantiation of singleton scope beans yes or no mr uh, whoever vivek sahare when i give answer keep the good habit of saying yes or no because when i have taken name and giving reply after listening answer you should have a minimum common sense of yes sir no sir okay sir i understood sir just taking answer and staying calm not going to work out at least in my sessions what right you have got to ask a question i have same right to expect reply from you okay i think you enjoyed pre instantiation of singleton scope beans boss everyone okay next one what's the next feature b ability to work with ability to work with properties file and placeholders properties file and placeholders placeholders are nothing but dollar sum this is the syntax this is the syntax of placeholders boss mm. this is the second one ability to work with mm, this one okay now listen i think everyone knows what is properties file everyone knows what is properties file no no in jsp that is el syntax but in uh, spring that is pro placeholders properties file the file that maintains entries as keys equal to value pairs the file that maintains entries as keys equal to value pairs. Example, info dot properties. Info dot properties. Key can be any word, value can be any word. So, person, if you want to take two words in the key, generally we separate with the dot. Person not name Raja, person dot address Hyderabad. 
पर्सन डॉट अड्रेस हैदराबाद पर्सन डॉट पर्सन डॉट इज सम थर्टी ओके बॉस नो इफ यू वॉन्ट राइट कॉमेंट इन द प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल येस यू कैन राइट सो बाय यूजिंग हैश सिंबल वॉट सिंबल हैश सिंबल पर्सनल इन्फो right this is called property file here at the end it is a text file only at the end it is a text file are you understanding my statement boss right now listen 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 everyone i am linking with spring boss okay let us assume i have a project with i have a project with 10 modules okay first five modules are developed without using spring let us assume a rare use case first five modules are developed without using spring last five modules are developed by using spring first five module last five modules all are talking to same database software all are talking to same database software and you know that for uh, for security reason the database username password will change at regular intervals so now tell me it's a better to hard code database username password inside the dot java file or better to collect from outside the java file respond better to collect from okay inside the dot java file or from outside the dot java file oh why i am introducing property file here i already introduced property file during strategy design pattern na fine 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 okay now i realized you already know properties file come on uh, now listen carefully but i will link with spring don't worry mm. yes ah uh, better to collect from outside the proper outside the dot java file so what is the best option properties file right properties file first five modules are there in java java means without spring run plain java is used there i will use properties file to collect database username password if possible to collect jdbc driver details also like driver class name url these details are there na so we will collect those driver class name url these details from which file here properties file which file guys properties file okay now come 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 on guys when it comes to spring application <laughs> when it comes to spring application there is no need of properties file we can bring that flexibility of modification through spring bean configuration file or not through spring bean find configuration file or not come on guys same jdbc properties data source configuration supplying username password driver class name url everything can be done through what spring bean configuration file but one problem is there first modules five modules are there in non spring they are collecting database details from properties file okay last five modules are there in spring they are collecting jdbc driver details database details from where spring bean configuration file so now what happens whenever database username or password is modified i have to modify i have to supply those changes from one place or two place i have to supply those changes from one location or two location or two location for first five modules properties file for next five modules i have to supply from spring bean configuration file it's a really meaningless or not it's a really really meaningless or not if i can make <laughs> are you listening my statement if i can make if i can make my spring application also gathering spring application also gathering database detail jdbc properties from properties file it would be really really nice or not it would be really really nice or not what do you say guys so that means that means in this situation even though we have a spring bean configuration file it's better to collect such details from properties file or not 
to make our spring modules on par with other technologies modules to make my spring modules on par with other technology modules it's better to make spring modules collecting information through properties file or not that's the reason we should learn property file also in spring environment that's the reason number 1 reason 2 i will give in a moment so what what should i take this is my project this is my project guys project total how many modules are there module 1 dot 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 module 5 super module 6 dot 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 module 10 listen listen i am trying to link everything with project okay boss uh, now here we are having one properties file what is the property file jdbc dot properties any extension can be there recommended extension is dot properties here what is there jdbc dot driver some driver class name jdbc dot url some url according to database what we are using that jdbc dot uh, otherwise db dot username the okay username db dot password password information password information no doubt it had first five modules happily collecting information from properties file because these are there in non spring de developed using developed by using non spring non spring java environment developed using non spring java environment okay module 6 to 10 module 6 to 10 uh, tell me developed by using by using spring framework developed by using spring framework cool guys ah uh, tell me by default naturally it will try to get this information from where spring bean configuration file this will try to get this information from where spring bean configuration file that's what i am saying if you know spring already also you should feel i am learning something new that is my orientation of teaching spring boss so that's why what spring knowledge you got earlier keep aside hand over your empty brain to me as if you don't know spring you will get right concept in right attitude please please i hope you are feeling like that the people who don't know spring they are lucky people they can learn subject in a proper order okay yes boss jdbc dot properties is now linked with the spring bean configuration file hey not directly boss through pro property file also should be linked to xml so indirectly what spring application is getting property file information through xml file only through xml file only so now what is the advantage database password is changed for security reason tell me earlier if the setup is not there for uh, if the setup is not there if xml is not linked with properties file what was the problem tell me guys i have to modify in properties file i have to modify in xml file now how many places i have to modify boss now in how many places i have to modify boss now also two places sir now also two places sir now i have to modify only in one place right and it will reflect in what non java based modules and it also reflects to what by using spring environment come on 
आर यू लिजनिंग इन ट्री यूर आज द क्वेश्चन इन स्प्रिंग एनवायरमेंट यू कैन गेट फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन फॉर जे डी बी सी प्रॉपर्टीज आर समथिंग एल्स विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ एक्स एम एल फाइल देन वाई शुड वी लर्न प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल वाई शुड वी यूज प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग माई पॉइंट आर नॉट Interior definitely raises this question or not? Then you have to answer like this. Number one, okay. If if non-spring modules of the project are collecting JDBC properties from properties file, okay, it's better to make spring modules of the project also gathering same information collecting from properties file. That's the reason number one. Reason number two, while developing hundred percent code-driven Spring application, Spring Boot-driven Spring application, are we going to use XML files? No. That time, no option. We have to deal with properties files only, na. Are we? Uh, that time, we have to deal with properties files only, na. Come on. while developing 100% code driven application spring boot application we have to avoid xml for 100% that time directly we have to deal with what properties file so that's why there also there is a need of properties file or not okay okay boss i will show practical see also don't worry boss this is not logical scenario sometimes it happens sometimes it happens some modules will be there in non spring and some modules will be there in spring it happens enhancements will happens new modules will be added in spring old modules will be added in not non spring it's possible it's not a logical thinking it's a practical thing also in a rare situation sometimes they will do it so actually latest module they try to develop in spring later after few years they will try to migrate old module to spring initially only new module they will develop in spring what is the use of what is the use of properties file okay properties file yes someone is someone is confirming this check it out someone is confirming because some people are not accepting in one project both spring and non spring environment will be there sanat is confirming that please observe what is the use of properties file in spring projects spring projects when we can get flexibility of modification modification for jdbc properties through spring bean configuration file itself through spring bean configuration file itself spring bean okay yes swati talla also confirming that good good please please give this kind of confirmation so that when i give some scenarios others will get double confirmation yes uh number 1 to make okay boss uh to make to me spring modules of the project spring modules of the project project hmm. getting jdbc properties 
from properties file properties file on par with on par with other non spring modules of the project non spring modules of the project project as shown in the as shown in the above diagram next one <laughs> while developing 100% code driven 100% code driven configurations based configurations based spring applications and spring boot spring boot applications we cannot use okay spring bean configuration files spring bean configuration file so we need to use only properties file yes only properties file or yml i'll introduce yml later okay boss on par on par on par means you don't know on par means equal to other thing i didn't write one par it is on par only only properties file or yml files yml files to gather to gather inputs to gather inputs like jdbc properties are you understanding my statement okay yes manali madam also confirming these features one more madam is confirming this okay tell me guys what do you mean by jdbc properties because i use this term a lot like jdbc driver class name next jdbc url next db username next db password these are called this one 100% code driven means purely java statement no xml annotations again java code okay boss fine boss sir in real time i don't think modules will be there without talking to database software boss hmm. takur balaji <laughs> takur balaji also confirming i am really happy uh actually takur balaji what you can do you know uh you take a screenshot and there is option of uploading file file uploading is there na you upload the file it will come to chat box and i will collect and show still option is there <laughs> still option is there you can try if he if he can give screenshot it will be very useful for others okay let's let's come back let's let's come back boss so now let's make our mini project <laughs> let's make our mini project gathering inputs from properties file boss where is our mini project here is our mini project say paste bin factory does not support boss uh, ioc pros 11 11 uh, not 13 13 13 uh, what is that ac properties file now on words ac means what guys ac means application context i hope you have that common sense ac properties file mm. procedure to make 
see one layered application i have developed i am using in how many angles are you observing the advantage of learning layered application very early stages of spring learning process boss so that we can study every topic in project angle or not everyone learn spring basics as a pocs but my students can confidently say i learned every concept of spring in project angle i think you are benefiting or feeling heavy feeling heavy means you have to improve your hard work because this is this is life you have to study like this only interviewer also ask the question where did you use lazy in it in your project where did you use x y z concept in your project a b c concept in your project are you forget about spring ra babu for core job also nowadays they are asking tell me where did you use polymorphism in your project tell me where did you use multi threading concepts in your project tell me where did you use uh, uh, what is that interfaces in your project right <laughs> procedure to make so when when they are linking core java with this project manage it's a, it's it's quite obvious spring they will always expect in project angle right okay guys ha huh, procedure to make procedure to make spring layered application nothing but mini project nothing but mini project hmm. procedure to make spring layered application nothing but mini project hmm. to gather to collect jdbc properties from properties file from properties file from properties file guys step number 1 okay add properties file to project having jdbc properties simply having jdbc properties clear guys i think this is our project boss here i am taking one package yes okay com dot nt dot commons okay boss next here is my file i have to take file boss i have to take file ah jdbc dot properties jdbc dot properties yes comment symbol uh, jdbc properties jdbc dot driver hmm. arakil dot jdbc dot driver arakil dot jdbc dot driver dot arakil driver hey not compulsory the word jdbc should be there anything in the key anything in the value so jdbc dot url jdbc colon arakil colon thin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe jdbc dot username system not interested to write lengthy username right okay system next jdbc dot password manager that's it boss jdbc dot properties com slash nt slash commons slash come on okay boss 
ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਾਮਨਸ ਪੈਕੇਜ ਕਾਮਨਸ ਪੈਕੇਜ yes mr shankar dube what you said is right if you can crack interviews in hyderabad you can crack interviews anywhere in the world because hyderabad interviews will be very depth boss very depth that's a fact also no doubt in that fine jdbc dot properties boss b b boss uh, what is the next story yeah configure properties file acha everyone everyone please uh, save the link and after the class please try to submit your details guys we found uh, we, we found one two people some people joined without having any proper approvals proper uh, registration process we want to filter them we want to filter them out so that's why you have to take bit pain of submitting your details you have to take bit pain of submitting your details boss okay fine thank you and uh, don't share meeting id with others if you share meeting id okay in the process of filtering you may lose your entry and later you have to do lot of fighting with admin people don't do that mistake please don't do that mistake because for every uh, participant we are generating one unique id randomly our people are checking so if you share your meeting id it will come out and unnecessarily you will be blocked and you have to fight with admin people twice thrice then you have to check your identity and lot of arguments then you will get your things understanding my point yes yes meeting id is different unique id is different every participant will have a unique id participant id unique id will be there na so all the things should be matched every day admin will cross verify that so please avoid mal practices if any issues are there financially talk with admin please avoid mal practices okay boss next one is what add properties file boss configure properties file in spring bean configuration file in spring bean configuration file application context dot xml application context dot i am importing one extra namespace called context guys because the relevant tag is there in context namespace that's why i am importing yes in future we are going to see all this thing through annotations also don't worry property place holder what is this property place holder this is the tag you have to come and mention there is something called location something called location it's a file that's why slash if it is a class dot com slash nt slash commons slash jdbc dot properties com slash nt slash commons slash jdbc dot property you have to import context namespace you have to import context namespace boss okay in application context dot xml import context to namespace from namespace tab okay guys context namespace from namespace tab done boss context namespace from namespace tab 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप स्टेप सी कॉन्फिगर कॉन्फिगर डेटा सोर्स क्लास एज स्प्रिंग बीन हैविंग प्लेस होल्डर्स हैविंग प्लेस होल्डर्स वट डू मीन बाई प्लेस होल्डर गाइस की ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी फाइल विल बी देर एंड बाई सबमिटिंग की इट विल गेट द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम प्रॉपर्टी फाइल एंड दे विल बिकम द वैल्यूज the values collected from the property file will become the values now listen guys now i need not to take two data sources boss seriously i need not to take two data sources seriously sir yes why simple reason <laughs> simple reason when i am getting these details from properties file okay i i'll take one data source and uh, accordingly if i want to talk with my sql here i will write my sql details if i want to talk with arkil i will write arkil details and these things i will put into what driver manager data source so do i need to take two things now boss no no need of taking two things yes boss that's number one yes uh, now tell me here and since it is not specific to one database can i take only dmds dmds and in the arkil da while inject same dmds in my sql da also i'll inject only same dmds come on guys come on right now listen why yeah but i am not going to hard code them i am not going to hard code them just check it out i have to collect from properties file and i have to link them here super boss uh, now tell me here dollar flower bracket right now i am giving the application which wants to talk with one database software at a time one database software at a time if you want to talk with the two database software then you have to take two data sources then you can collect both database from properties file but right now our application is interested to talk with one database software at a time listen guys here i am not putting the value but i am putting the place holder place holder listen in the place holder what should i write key i have to write uh key i have to write uh, that means what's the meaning of that are this is not the value go to properties file in that property file check for drive jdbc dot driver key collect that key related value and make it as the data of value attribute make it as the data of value attribute are you recognizing but listen sir sir first time we do modification next time onwards we do modification in property file only na so raz when you are doing setup definitely modification will be there na after that you think after that you think people are calling sir this time you are modify are when you are doing setup definitely modifications will be there come on guys what kind of analyzation you are doing someone is questioning sir now also you are doing modification na while doing setup any home modification will be there after that okay while moving from one database to another database jdbc dot url swaraj swaraj you have to improve your common sense copy this paste it jdbc dot user jdbc dot pwd yes listen guys this tag not only locates property file boss this tag also makes uh, not jdbc ya uh, db ya uh, am i right db db mm. this tag not only locates the property file boss it also makes uh, application context container to recognize and replace place holders that's why the what is the tag name property place holder property place holder are you understanding my point super yes boss hmm.
this tag locates the properties file and recognizes the placeholders and replaces them replaces them with the values collected from the properties file with the values collected from the properties file yes how to work with multiple property that's a separate discussion we will discuss that don't worry so right now what is the story guys this is the story in application context dot xml in application context dot xml yes boss now listen listen now i will try to run the application <laughs> i'll try to run the application by using bean factory container only wantedly wantedly to show the error to tell that bean factory does not recognize placeholders customer name karan address hyderabad principal amount 40000 rate of interest to 10 months see guys see this see this property driver class name through exception could not load jdbc driver class place holder should are you understanding my statement are how you got beans as the name space context is also one more name space that's it see it is not recognizing place holder when it is not recognizing how does it will replace so that means do you think oh, proper bean factory container by default recognizes place holders ah by default recognizes place holders ah boss no no are you getting my point sindhu nalani please be active madam acha someone said that jdbc okay i think here i have taken db ah yeah? where i have taken db ra babu no it is jdbc or who is the fellow who misguided me here jdbc is there fine here only i will change db dot someone misguided me <laughs> fine no problem db dot user db dot password so now it is not going to work out so what should i do i have to replace this container with application context container or not yes let me replace this container with application context container class path xml application context ctx is equal to new class path xml application context xml application context come on guys com slash nt slash cfz slash application context dot xml application context dot xml now ctx dot get bin so now setup is ready boss shall i run it shall i run it uh, enter customer name rakesh hyderabad principal amount 30000 10 months let's see now it is talking to arikil database software yes i don't want to work with arikil i am going to work with my sql so what should i do comment control plus shift control plus shift plus c control plus shift plus c toggle key boss okay boss copy this paste it actually i can modify also on save set to make my to make my process easy i am copy pasting please actually this is not the correct way you have to modify the values you have to modify the values right okay uh, now listen now listen 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 jdbc dot driver uh, what is the jdbc dot driver uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver okay i am not saying modifying xml is bad okay next one jdbc colon uh, mysql colon 3 slashes 
NTSPB. Anyone remembered? 714 DB. Am I right? NTSPB BMS. Anyone remembered, boss? Anyone remembered? Anyone remembered the logical database name? Just a minute. Instead of wasting time, let me ask like this. NTSP BMS 714 DB. Did I write correctly? NTSP BMS 714 DB. Right, boss. Uh, next one is what, boss? DB user. What is that? Root. DB password. Root. DB password. Root. Yes, boss. After that, what is the next story, boss? Application context dot XML. So here, service is now injected with what Oracle DAO. But now, actually, I have to inject with what MySQL DAO. I have to inject with what MySQL DAO. If interested, you can collect that one also from properties file. If interested, you can get this one also from properties file. Are you listening? No one stops you. Do that. Com dot mysql dot cz dot jdbc dot driver. Yes, if interested, you can collect this one also from properties file. It's not like that. So real time di test. Okay. Karan, Hyderabad, principal amount forty thousand two. Now it is talking to MySQL database software or not? Now it is interacting with what guys? MySQL database software or not? Okay. Am I touching this one XML boss? Okay. I'll show one more scenario. I'll show one more scenario. Open uh, SQL developer. Open SQL developer. Oh, it takes time. Okay. Meanwhile, you come back to Arakil one. Meanwhile, you come back to Arakil one. Yes, boss. Here, DB password is equal to DB password is equal to Tiger. I changed it because I decided to change the database password for security reasons. See guys, so there is a possibility of executing query boss. Here there is a possibility of executing query. Here is the browser. There is a possibility of executing query. Yes, uh, tell me here. Password. Password is my query. Password. Are, why it is not coming? Yeah, password. Uh, tell me changing password for this. What is the old password, boss? Old password manager. New password, I'm going to take tiger. Anything you can take. Tiger. Tiger. Say apply. Password changed. Tell me, do I need to modify XML file or if I modify here, that's enough. If I modify here, that is enough. That is enough. So now non spring modules also collects from properties file. Our application spring application also collects from properties file. What do you say guys? Current address Hyderabad principal amount 50,000. Okay. Rate of interest 10. That's fine. Cool. Oh, what's the problem? What's the problem? Invalid identifier. Invalid identifier. Nothing is there in XML file. We are still working with custody. AO. One minute. Why to take a chance here? Also, we will try to collect one minute. Customer arg DAO. DAO. Uh, tell me value ref is equal to flower bracket open closing. Flower bracket open closing. Let me gather DAO also. Uh, what is this? DB dot DAO. No, yeah. Which DAO you want? DB dot DAO. Something. Uh, go to properties file. 
here what is the key db dot dao uh, tell me vara cust dao am i right what is the b id boss vara cust dao did i write exactly same thing vara cust dao uh, that's cool guys now let's take it now customer name suresh address principal amount 50000 rate of interest 2 time 10 months yes now it is now talking to what guys arkil database software no i want to talk with my sql okay then what i should do what should i do enable my sql properties and change this one to my sql dao change this one to my sql dao come on guys so we are able to get the flexibility of modification or not i think i think we are enjoying so flexibility of modification is not important our ability to work with property file by linking with xml file that is very very important are you understanding okay i will explain internals tomorrow i will explain internals tomorrow but let me complete my steps what are the steps <coughs> d develop client application using application context container using application context ioc container that's it boss yes in annotations also we see the same stuff in future don't worry about it using application context container sorry i don't want to give this code because very lengthy code not required okay arun when application context is extension of bean factory why something is not possible with application context use your b common sense ra babu sub class super class so sub class is having everything of super class na boss your question itself wrong arun is asking what is possible in bean factory which is not possible with application context that question itself wrong because application context is developed as enhancement of bean factory right mr arun got my answer <coughs> right i'm placing this <coughs> i think everyone enjoyed my point here guys come on you got benefited with today's session you understood real time need of properties file yes practice practice i'll commit the code also don't worry team share project yes tomorrow we have a regular class yeah you can you can Mr Manoj Atish somewhere two string method is giving problem check once check once gaffer shake if i want to use different key names then can, if you use different key names you have to take two data sources mr gaffer shake you have to use two different sources gaffer shake you have to use two different data sources in that situation yes git staging boss this boss properties file yeah sunday sunday 11 o'clock we have a continuation of debugging tool right manazi you post me entire problem i can give the solution
ओके बॉस बीन फैक्ट्री डज नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज प्लेस होल्डर्स बाई डिफॉल्ट ओनली अप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्ट रिकॉग्नाइजेस प्लेस होल्डर्स साइनाद बीन फैक्ट्री डज नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज प्लेस होल्डर्स बाई डिफॉल्ट whereas application context recognizes it yeah if you miss last sunday's debugging session boss first attend that one from the youtube first attend that one from the youtube then start sitting in the classroom then start sitting in the this sunday's classroom and it is it is there in the group please collect from the group thank you guys have a nice time